Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful exponential math problem which is 20 raised to power 40 divided by 40 raised to power 20. So here we have to simplify this problem without any calculator. So how can we solve this math problem? Here I will try to solve this problem using two different methods. So here we will use our first method. So let's start our solution. So here in the first method here we can write this number as this is 20 raised to the power 40 but we can write this 40 as 20 times 2 divided by we can also write this 40 as 20 times 2 raised to the power 20. Now here in the numerator and denominator we will use two different exponential identities. So here we will use these two identities. We can write r s to power m times n as r s to power m or s to power n. And here in the denominator we will do this one identity a times b or s to power n. This can be written as r s to power n times b raised to power n. So using these two identities here in the numerator and denominator, this will become here the numerator will become 20 raised to the power 20 whole square divided by and this will become 20 raised to the power 20 times 2 raised to the power 20 as there is square over the numerator so therefore we can write this numerator as this will become 20 raised to the power 20 times 20 raised to the power 20 and denominator will be the same 20 raised to power 20 times 2 raised to power 20 and we'll cancel these two numbers with each other because they are same so this will become 20 raised to power 20 divided by 2 raised to power 20 now look at two, these two numbers these two numbers have the same power so here in this tree we will use the same power exponential identity that is we can write a by b all raised to power n as a raised to power n by b raised to power n so here this right hand side is in this form form so we'll change it from this one form to this form so we will take out the power common and we will divide the basis this will become this will become 20 by 2 raised to the power 20 this is simply 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 10 is 20. So this will become 10 by 1, which is simply 10 raised to the power 20. So finally, 10 raised to the power 20 is our final answer and simplified value of this beautiful simplification math problem. Here I will try to solve this problem using the second method. So here we will solve it here. Second method. To solve this problem using the second method, here we will write this problem again. Now the problem is that is 20 raised to the power 40 divided by 40 raised to the power 20. So next here we can write this numerator as 20 raised to the power 40. 40 can be written as 20 plus 20 divided by 40 raised to the power 20. Here in the numerator we will use an exponential identity. So here in the numerator we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power m plus n which is equal to a raised to power m times a raised to power n. So using this identity here we can write this numerator as this will become 20 raised to power 20 times 20 raised to the power 20 divided by 40 raised to power 20. Look at two, these two numbers, these two numbers have the same power. So here we will use the same power exponential identity and we will take out the power common and we will divide the basis. So this will become this will become 20 divided by 40 raised to the power 20 times 20 raised to the power 20. 
Let's simplify these two numbers. So this is 20 times 1 is 20. 20 times 2 is 40. So this will become 1 by 2 raised to the power 20. 20 times 20 raised to the power 20. Again, look at these two numbers. These two numbers have the same power. So here we will take out the power common and we multiply the basis. So this will become this will become half times 20 raised to the power 20. Let's simplify these two number. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 10 is 20. So this will become 1 times 10. 1 times 10 is simply 10. So this will become 10 raised to the power 20. So finally again this is our answer. What does mean by this number 10 raised to the power 20? It is a very bigger number. It is simply 1 followed by 20 zeros. So this will become 1 followed by 20 zeros. So there will be 20 times 0. So finally this is our final answer using the second method. Now in last don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step math solutions. Thanks for watching.